Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at the difference between open loop and closed loop gain and operational amplifier. First of all, the open loop gain. Now we have to remember from the previous videos that the output voltage is going to be equal to the open loop gain times the input voltage. In this case, let's call it V1, which is going to be the source voltage. So here V1 is the voltage provided, and this is two volts. Now notice they give us the open loop gain, they give us the internal resistance R sub I, which is the resistance between the non-inverting and the inverting terminals right here. We have the output resistance on the output voltage of 50 ohms, and then we have the source voltage here of 2 volts. Let's call it input voltage, so let's call that the input voltage. Now strictly by this equation, we can then see that the output voltage, V sub O, is going to be equal to the open loop gain, which is 2 times 10 to the fifth, multiplied times V sub 1, which is 2 volts. Now why can we use the whole 2 volts? Well, it tells us here that the input resistance is 2 mega ohms, and that would be the resistance right here, and we have a 10k ohm resistor over here. The 10k ohm resistor is so much smaller than the 2 mega ohm resistor that almost no voltage drops across this resistor, and then almost all of the voltage drops across here which means that the voltage at this location is still approximately equal to 2 volts. Just slightly less than 2 volts, but close enough to 2 volts, in such a way that this equation then means that the output voltage would have to be equal to 400,000 volts. Now, of course, that's not going to be the case. That means we are saturated, and that the output voltage will simply be limited by the V sub VCC, so V output will then be equal to whatever the VCC is, 5 or 10 volts, whatever the voltage of the power supply is. What about the closed loop gain? Well, in the case of the closed loop gain, we need to have a feedback resistor from the output voltage back to the inverting terminal. So then we're going to have to add a resistor here, like this. There we go. And they tell us that the resistor is going to be 20 kilo ohms. Which means that in this case, for part B, we can say that the output voltage is going to be equal to the negative because we have the, the source voltage here connected to the inverting terminal. It's going to be negative R feedback divided by R sub 1. If we call this V sub 1, then this here would be called R sub 1. And that would be times the input voltage, V sub I. This here, this quantity right here, is what we call the closed loop gain. And so this then becomes equal to minus R sub F, which is 20 kilo ohms, divided by R sub I, which is 10 kilo ohms, multiplied times V sub I, and V sub I was going to be 2 volts, and therefore this is going to be equal to minus 2 times 2 volts, or minus 4 volts for the output which means that the closed loop gain is minus 2, minus 2 times the input voltage, which gives us a total of the output voltage. And that doesn't look like a good V. Let's try that again. There we go. Much better. So now you can see the difference between the open loop gain and the closed loop gain. The open loop gain would quickly saturate for any significant amount of input on the voltage, V1. And the closed loop gain is simply controlled by the comparison of the feedback resistor we have over here to the resistor on the feed-in of the voltage on the inverting terminal. And that's how it's done. 